Hi, today is Monday, June 24th, 2024. For today, let's start with something actually random. Oh, we haven't played this yet. So this is called Pickle or MLB Pickle. It's it's a baseball game. Um, and you guess the mystery player. I really like this one, but I don't play a lot of sports uh, games on here. Let's see. Let's uh let's guess. I think it has to be a current player. So let's just start with maybe Ian Happ. Okay. So we know they're in the USA, or they were born in the USA, and they're either right-handed or left-handed, uh, batting, and they're either in the AL Central or the NL East or NL West. Let's just say Jose Ramirez. Let's say they're in the AL Central. Oh, they're from Dominican Republic. But now we know they're in the NL East or the NL West. We could go with, like, Freddie Freeman. Okay, so he's left-handed, 34, and in the NL East. We could Let's go for a pitcher this time, maybe. And they throw right-handed. They just bat left-handed. Let's guess uh, Zach Wheeler of the Phillies. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, they don't throw right-handed. I, I, I apologize. I uh, I misread that column. <laughs> okay, but they are a starting pitcher, but they don't play for the Phillies. But we know everything else. <laughs> So they they play for either the Braves, the Nationals, the Marlins, or the Mets. This should be gettable. I'm thinking Patrick Corbin might be 34. He's getting up there in age. And he matches everything else, I think. He is 34. This is probably it. <laughs> nice. A very fun game. Let's try Linksicon before it expires once again. Here we got 36 minutes. Oh, from pattern to nowhere. Now this is this is a fun one. I mean, I, I think it will be fun. Let's try like sequence that could match with the pattern. Very good. And sequence might be connected to path. It's not, but we could probably get it there. We, we might be able to get path to nowhere as well because we could go somewhere, <laughs> which is is connected to nowhere. Well, like Journey. That might get us to somewhere. I don't know. No, but it gets us to Path. <laughs> All right. So we got three couplets, I guess. Three pairs. Okay, I, I kind of love sequences. Sequences are one of my favorite things. I specifically like sequences of numbers. Ooh. That's painful. What about just number? Yeah, okay. All right, we got four pairs. <laughs> okay, what about like an alternating sequence? No, okay. Or an increasing sequence. I'm still thinking of math sequences. Let's go with a series. Okay, yeah. We got a circle. How close are numbers to all these two? Not really that close in the 20s. Okay, but we have to get to somewhere or nowhere. That's a question I ask myself every day. Although it wasn't really a question. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. Uh, I thought of bound. A sequence could have a bound. But that's that's the wrong kind of sequence. Okay, they're thinking of a different kind of sequence. Let's <laughs> let's see here. What about order? Really? Oh, I I was so confident with that one. It's at thirty one point two percent. Okay, what about everything is connected to everywhere? No, it's not. It's sort of close. What about darkness? <laughs> okay. I thought that might be nowhere. 
It's not even... I thought it would be connected to nowhere. Wait, what? Who do we lose? Get back here. <laughs> okay. How about empty? Oh, that's interesting. Everything empty darkness. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> I love this. All right, I'm not going to worry about what's out of view right now. This is our focus. Oh, a, a sequence could be infinite. Infinity. How about just infinite? We got a little nuclear action here in the shape. <laughs> Maybe we can just say math and it'll say like, yeah, no. Symbols, sequences of symbols. This, uh, whatever this was trained on was not mathematical uh, journals. Okay, what about function? We could pivot and actually just start from pattern. I was just having a lot of fun. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Checkerboard. Checkerboard. Really? Oh, you're so close to pattern. Okay, what about a quilt? You're not too close. Okay. Stitch. Yeah. <laughs> Knitting. <laughs> knit. <laughs> you knit a pattern. Oh. Crochet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. I can't get away from these three or these three. <laughs> Well, I haven't really tried too much from you, besides, like, infinite and empty. Emptiness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about, like, existence? This is, this is getting a bit existential. Life. <laughs> Space. How is that co not connected to... Y'all over here. 32.7. Okay. <laughs> All right. Matter. That's probably not good. Yeah. Position. Oh. We got back order. Okay. All right. <laughs> it can't be understated how much I love this game. Even if I don't agree with some of these. Monotonic. Hey, that's true. I mean, well, it doesn't have to be increasing, but yeah. I was trying to get the math to work, but... Mm. Summation. Oh. Oh, I think we're on to something now. Some. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. We we uh, connected the middle, uh, the math, to a pattern. Now we just have to connect uh, the math to nowhere. What about uh, null? It's not really math, but there's it, there's a relationship there, especially with nothing. I want to say black hole. And I did. You can only add nine more words. Oh no. Okay, I think we can do this. What if we just said where? Like that. Okay. Now what is the closest one right now? Empty, space, position, Position. Okay, position is very close to everywhere. What about all? No. 
But it's also kind of close to all. Okay, what if we could say like where from where to when? And then when will be connected to like time, which will be connected to space. When? Okay, good. Now time. Okay, not connected to the space, that's okay. <laughs> How about dimension? The space time or the continuum. Let's say continuum. Ooh, nothing. That was a whiff. Okay. Dimension. Nope. Really? Oh, no. No, I, I, I had a path. Three more words. What if I just said space time, one word? <laughs> to connect space and time. <laughs> It was more like space dash time. But like, it's kind of strange how when is connected to time, but where isn't connected to space. Or position. It's a little, a little suspicious. <laughs> Alright, let's just say clock. And maybe we can connect clock to something. <laughs> yeah, two words. This is a, a nail biter for sure. A little suspenseful. Okay, I got an idea. This word has a, has two meanings. Well, it has more than two meanings. But the word is second. It could be like time. A second is like 60 seconds is a minute. Or it could mean you come in second. You don't come in first, you come in second. You, you don't win. You're a loser. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> so second might be connected to number as a not first, or a second, in a minute, like, okay, let's just say second. You, 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 you piece. <laughs> it wasn't even that close, 31.4, 29.8, we, we have one more word. Oh, this is, my heart is, is pounding. I don't, it's not really, but it should be, it should be pounding right now. Like, how is second not connected to even time? Yeah, second should be connected to time, right? It should be closer to th than 31.4%, in my opinion. Okay, what about once? Everywhere, everything, all at once. <laughs> I, I, I think it connects to the middle uh, clump, the cluster. But I don't know if it connects to the Nowhere cluster. It's not really a cluster. It could connect to, to when, is what I'm thinking. Once, when I was young, I climbed a tree and never came down. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just try. It's our last guess. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no more words. We lost our first loss. No, I, I want to keep trying. Can I keep trying practice? No. Okay, well, I think there should be an option to keep trying. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Let's do connections. Yeah. Keep up, keep up the, the, the positive vibes here. The, the spirit, as they say. Well, moose is pretty delicious. We could have a dessert. We could have a side. We could have a starter. We could have a main. These are the four courses of the apocalypse. All right, restaurant courses. All right, we could have new. We could have raw. Wait, <laughs> I'm saying weird. Okay, uh, we could have bear. Mm, maybe it's sensitive. Tender. Yeah, scratch new. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have no idea another word for this, so we're just gonna go for that. Oh, it's one away. Maybe we do go with new. Oh, delicate. 
That's another word for it. <laughs> okay. Wait. Bear? Why are we using bear when we could use sensitive? Yeah. Sore to the touch. All right. I mean, we got red carpet, red meat. Maybe a red delicious apple. Red tape could could definitely be a thing. I'm not sure what it is. Because um, I, I can only think of like yellow tape, which will like block off a crime scene or something. Let's just try that. So red carpet, red delicious, red meat, red tape. Nice. All right, we get deer chocolate, chocolate mousse, bear chocolate, brand brand new chocolate. I guess I don't. I have no idea what this is. Animal homophones. Okay, <laughs> okay. I, I always miss the homophone. No, I don't. Sometimes I get them, but well, no. I I, I think I get homophones and homonyms mixed up, but either way. Uh, let's try disorderly. Sort these directors by the number of feature films they've directed, starting with the most. Yikes. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say Hitchcock has a lot, probably. Spielberg has a lot. Tar Tarantino probably has a lot. I honestly have no idea. So we just, oh, we got three of them. Let's put Kubrick above these two. Let's put Scorsese above these two. <laughs> I'll take three for this one. Definitely. <laughs> okay, so I, I like that they told me some of their movies. That's so helpful, Disorderly. Another point for, for you. All right, Jaws, E.T., Jurassic Park. Okay, gotcha. The Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, The Departed. Departed. I don't know if I'm a big fan of Scorsese then. <laughs> um, uh, I haven't seen any of these. Well, to be honest, I haven't seen any of these either. But I've seen parts. Uh, Pulp Fiction. I haven't seen any of these either. I haven't seen any of these. Really, I've only seen E.T. and Jurassic Park. <laughs> of all these. <laughs> so, uh, we beat the average. All right. We should do thrice. I did thrice on my phone yesterday because I I wanted to see how well I did. I don't think I did very well. If you were wondering, let's uh let's do entertainment. We have no choice. We finally got a Marion Crane in season five of Bates Motel. I I only lasted like two seasons of that show. In the form of what performer? Hmm. I can't believe they made five seasons. So is is Marion Crane an actor? What kind of performers exist? A street performer? An actor in the show? Like an actor acting as an actor? That's a performer. What about like a ballet? Person doing ballet? Maybe figure skating? These don't really match the vibes of Bates Motel, though. <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to say... You are a figure skater. February 22nd is a barbar Barbadian holiday honoring what co-owner of title? Okay, I don't know what Barbadian means and I don't know what title is. Okay, so what we're going to we're going to do the next one. Dumb fans were injuring each other trying to copy her moves. That's why what singer banned umbrellas at her shows? What? Oh, so what performer? Marion Mary Crane's like a character. And the performers. Okay, I understand now. Who's Who sings Umbrella? <laughs> umbrella, umbrella. A, A. Bre umbrella, Bella. Is it Lee Gaga or is it Rihanna? Or is it someone else? Or is it or someone else? Let's say Ray, Rihanna. Oh, yes. All right, question two. This is social sciences. 
Thanks to the direction they come from, easterlies is another name for what two-word weather phenomenon? Not another weather phenomenon. <laughs> All right, what's some weather phenomenons? We got tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, <laughs> and some easterly earthquakes. Mm. Is that weather? Is an earthquake weather? I don't think so. You got cyclones. Yes, tsunamis. None of these are two words. <laughs> it could be, have to do with the ocean, the ocean getting hotter. But wait, no, thanks to the direction they come from, that doesn't really make sense. You got rain, you got fog, you got humidity, you got wind, you got hail, you got lightning, you got clouds. Maybe it's based on the Earth's rotation. That Maybe that's why it goes uh, from... Wait, it comes from the east, so it's the reverse of the Earth's rotation. It's against the Earth's rotation. Maybe it means maybe they're talking about tailwind. Well, tailwind. Ah, oh. <laughs> hurricanes and typhoons are steered by what air flows that? are named for their more useful qualities. Well, I think we're onto something with wind. Well, you, you've got your tail and you got your head. So we're going headwind. Nope. They're not just for merchants. Westbound mariners have long filled their sails with what tropical breezes? What is, what am, I don't know of any more winds. <laughs> These are east winds. Trade winds! I didn't know that. Oh, I spent way too much time thinking about it to not know it. All right. Food and drink. A trade wind. I guess it, they were talking about merchants. That was like a clue. But I, I still... I, I just didn't know it. A real-life guillotine is used to inspect the nuts stuffed into what sweet Italian condiment? Excuse me? This is Thousand Island. Dressing. <laughs> Ferrero settled a 2012 class action lawsuit for claiming what brown smear is part of a nutritious breakfast. Okay. Is this like Nutella? It is, okay. <laughs> What was the first one? Inspect the nuts. Okay, I I I don't I don't know. I'm not a Nutella person. All right, science and nature. Diptera is the scientific name for the order of annoying creatures we call what? I've known this before, but it's been a very long time since I've known this. But they're annoying creatures, so they're probably like mosquitoes or flies or gnats. I'm just going to say mosquitoes. I don't know. That's right. Nope. Nope. Midges and mosquitoes are technically what sort of insects? So maybe I was technically right. Maybe they're technically flies. All right. Blow horse and tets sets are varieties of what and buggering bugs. All right. Let's uh, do arts and literature. Last question. It's now or never. The Burgos Cathedral and Drac Drach Caves are in what European nation? Ooh. Burgos. Burgos. Well, I was thinking there are a lot of caves in like Central Europe. Slash some some East Europe maybe and I don't know where I just don't know where these are I, I don't know what Burgos would be, be like language wise let's just say maybe Hungary Hungary is kind of a wild language Hungarian I mean but that's that's my guess well the Alhambra and the Plaza Mayor oh I should know this. I should know where the Alhambra is. I I don't remember. The Plaza Mayor. Let's go with France. 
the Guggenheim Bilbao and the Dolly Theater Museum in Figuris. What? Is this a question? <laughs> what am I reading? Is this a... Uh... Is this Portugal? This seems like it's Portuguese. Portugal. No. Oh. Hey. Why why does it look like this? Okay, it's Spain. Yeah. Alright. Stats. <laughs> alright. Uh we got five points. Alright, alright, most common. I'll take it. Most people didn't know it. All right. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Most common again. Oh, we, we're not. We're, we're, we're better than some people. <laughs> oh, but, uh, don't look at me. All right. We didn't make average today. There's all we didn't make average. I got like four yesterday on my phone. It might have been three. It was, it was not good. Just to, just to keep you updated. All right, I think we have time for one more, which stinks because I wanted to. Well, we can do angle real quick. Let's just let's just do angle, and then we'll do geogrid. Uh, that looks like a sixty-five to me. That's boiling. That's a sixty-seven. That's a sixty-nine. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, we did it. Now we have to finish on geogrid, which is weird because we used to start with geogrid. All right, number seventy-nine. Let's see, let's try and make this somewhat quick. <laughs> so yeah, in Europe, landlocked, that's the easiest question I've ever seen. With a star, we had this before. There was one that was like, that was a star, but we were like, where is the star? I don't see it. Uh, but either way, let's, uh. so we know Bosnia and Herzegovina has a star. And we know Turkey has a star. Those are two good ones. More than 100 Olympic medals. We, I think we can get that. So this top one might be the hardest. Okay, we can start with like Lesotho, Lesotho or the landlocked one. Oh my gosh, they have more than a million people. <laughs> Not a good start. All right, let's just go Vatican City. All right, <laughs> flag with a star. Let's just say Turkey. Wait, no, sorry. This is the wrong one. Let's just, let's put Turkey in here. We're not going to put it anywhere, anywhere else. Okay, maybe Dominica has less than 1 million people. Nice. Legendary. Name is 10 or more letters long. We got some, a lot of St. Nevis and kids. We got St. Vincent and Grenadines. Those could have under 1 million people. We got Marshall Islands. We got, we got let's go Marshall Islands. I bet y'all have. Yeah. Yeah. And we have kind of a nice flag, too. All right, remember, Marshall Islands has a star. Landlocked in Europe. I'm going to say, hmm, Czechia. Slash the Czech Republic. Good. Ten letters long in Europe. We got Bosnia and Herzegovina. We got Vatican City, which we can't use. We got Azerbaijan, which is in Europe. This will be my first Azerbaijan Europe guess. I feel like this is like a rite of passage. Here we go. Yep, yeah, epic. <laughs> and then with these, I'm not really sure. I feel like we should go with South Korea for this one. And then maybe we need a landlocked one. Landlocked might be the hardest. Let's go here. So we got United States. We might have Australia. We might have New Zealand. Could have Japan. Let's go Japan. Not everyone knows that Japan's flag is a star. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and it is landlocked. There's like... I don't know... Uh, Nepal. <laughs> Nepal was not good to me yesterday. Mm, Port wait no Portugal is not landlocked. Oh, Switzerland, Switzerland. There's a lot of European countries that are landlocked. I feel like I might owe it to Switzerland for never guessing them. So let's go with Switzerland. 
All right, we did it. Top 25%, sort of. Pretty close. A little bit better than 25%, I think. Uh, most popular answers. You sure? Least popular answers. This is what I care about. Dominica. We were, we were on the pulse. All right, we got Azerbaijan, of course. Which I need to remember is landlocked. All right, Bhutan. Belarus has more than 100 Olympic medals. That's important. Okay. Uh, that was very common. That's, I mean, yeah. And then, not, not a bad puzzle. Hold on. I want to look at this guy. All right. I mean, that's not really that exciting. What was the exciting one? There's an exciting one somewhere. Under 1 million with stars. Yeah, I like that. We get the mo the least common one, which and it's just a lot of islands in Suriname, um, <laughs> in Djibouti. Any others? Nah. All right. New board at midnight. All right. That is the doles for today, Monday, June twenty fourth. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you tomorrow. Goodbye.